can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Let's start with a rectangle with the length equal to 6 units. Now let's draw two segments wherein this angle equals 45 degrees and this length be equal to 2 units. Now the question is what is the area of this rectangle? Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution. Two different solutions in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this figure, the goal is to find the area of this rectangle. And I said that I will show you two different methods to answer this kind of question. So the first one is the geometric approach. And the second one is a bit shorter method, which is by using trigonometric approach or trigonometry. So now let's have our first solution, the geometric approach. Now, to start with, Let's draw a perpendicular line exactly at this vertex like this. Now let's color this triangle. Now take note, this part are equal and this part are also equal. Therefore, we can say that the area of this triangle is simply half the area of this rectangle. And now we will use that fact to answer this kind of question. So first, we will get the area of this rectangle. So let's have this length be equal to x. So the area of this rectangle simply equal to 6 multiplied by 2 plus x, which is half of it simply equal to 3 multiplied by 2 plus x. And also, 3 times 2 plus x is the area of our triangle. Now, we know that the area of this triangle simply equal to 3 multiplied by 2 plus x. So if we can find another way to find the area of this triangle in terms of x, so we can equate them. So what we're going to do to do that is to use the fact that this length is also equal to 6 because this is a rectangle. Now using Pythagorean theorem, we can get the hypotenuse as square root of 2 squared plus 6 squared simply equal to 4 plus 36 simply equal to square root of 40. Now from here, let's drop a perpendicular line to this point like this. Because if this is a right triangle, we know this is 45, 45, 90 right triangle. And since it is a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, we also have an isosceles right triangle. These two sides are equal. And so what we're going to do is to let this side be equal to y. So using Pythagorean theorem, we can say that y squared plus y squared equals square root of 40 raised to the power of 2. Now, simplifying this, we have 2y squared equals 40. Divide by 2 on both sides, we have y squared equals 20. Get the square root on both sides, so we get y equals 2 times square root of 5. Now this y is 2 times square root of 5. But take note, this perpendicular line is also the height of our triangle. And also take note, this is a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. So this length is also 2 times square root of 5. Now we now have the height of our triangle. What we need is the base. And this is very easy. Using Pythagorean theorem in this right triangle, we get that this hypotenuse is simply equal to the square root of x squared plus 36, or simply 6 squared. And this will serve as the base of our right triangle. So we can rewrite the area of this triangle as 1 half times base times height, or simply 1 half of the base square root of x squared plus 36 times the height of 2 times square root of 5. But we know the area of this triangle is also equal to 3 multiplied by 2 plus x. Therefore, using these two values, we can now find the value of x. So now, they are both equal to the area of the triangle, so we can equate them. And then, what we're going to do is to simplify this equation a little bit. So we have 6 plus 3x equals square root of 5x plus 180. Now get the square on both sides. So we have 36 plus 36x plus 9x squared equals 5x squared plus 180. Now let's focus on this result. Now combining like terms and equate this to 0, we have 4x squared plus 36x minus 144. 
and all of these coefficients are divisible by 4, so let's divide all of this term by 4. And x squared plus 9x minus 36 is factorable. We can factor this out nicely as x minus 3 times x plus 12. Now equate this to 0, or using the 0 property, we get that the value of x equals 3 or negative 12. Now going back to our figure, we get x equals positive 3 or x equals negative 12. But we know x cannot be equal to a negative number because x is a side length. Therefore, x equals positive 3. Since we know the value of x, we can now get the area of this rectangle. This is just 6 times 5 or 5 times 6. So the area of this rectangle simply equal to 30 square units. And this is our answer to this question. So using geometric approach, we get that the area of this rectangle simply equal to 30 square units. Now, let's begin with the trigonometric approach or using trigonometry. So first, what we're going to do is to again, let this side be equal to x, why not? And let's call this angle be equal to theta. So this angle simply equal to 135 minus theta because the sum of these three angles simply equal to 180 degrees. Now let's call this angle be equal to A, angle A, and let's replace this A in terms of theta. So we know A plus 135 degrees minus theta equals 90 degrees because they are complementary. And solving for the value of A, A equals theta minus 45 degrees. So we can replace this A with theta minus 45 degrees like this. Now let's focus on this right triangle. And what we're going to do is to get the tangent of theta minus 45 degrees. So tangent of theta minus 45 degrees simply equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side, so x over 6. But we know we have an identity that says the tangent of a minus b simply equal to tangent of a minus tangent of b all over 1 plus tangent of a times tangent of b. So the left-hand side of our equation, we can rewrite this simply as tangent theta minus tangent 45 degrees all over 1 plus tangent theta times tangent 45 degrees. Now, let's have some space because we know the value of tangent 45 degrees. This is just 1. So this tangent 45 becomes 1, this tangent 45 becomes 1. Now, what we need here is to find the value of this tangent theta. And we can find the value of tangent theta using this right triangle on the top. Since we know this is a rectangle, this opposite of angle theta simply equal to 6 also. Now tangent theta simply equal to opposite over adjacent, so 6 over 2, or simply equal to 3. So tangent theta simply equal to 3. So now let's focus on this result and replace all tangent theta with 3, like this. Now simplify, we have 1 over 2. Now to solve for the value of x, let's multiply both sides by 6. 1 over 2 times 6 simply equal to 3. And there, you have it. If x is 3, then the area of the whole rectangle simply equal to 30 square units. And this is our answer to this question. So, given this figure and we have two different approach and we get that the final answer or the area of this rectangle simply equal to 30 square units. And as always, we are done.